From the Phoenix Convention Center in Phoenix, Arizona, it's The Q at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're on the ground in Phoenix, Arizona at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing. I love that celebration. Uh, this is, I think, the 14th annual. There's 8,000 uh, women and men. I think they said about 6% men allies in this effort uh, here at the convention in Phoenix, a three-day event. And we're joined by our next guest, Sarah Clatterbuck, Senior Manager, Web Dev for LinkedIn. Yes, Welcome. thank you. So you, uh, you said this is your fourth time being at, at the event. How has it changed over those years? Well, I think the most dramatic shift is this year, it's almost double the size of last year. So uh, it just feels like a groundswell this year of support for this movement. And, and it really covers a broad range of topics. There's education, there's like a job fair, uh, yep. and then you've got a talk that's really about product design. So I wonder if you can jump in and tell us a little bit about what you'll be talking about later today. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to be giving a talk on achieving leverage for accessibility in a large organization. Okay, so break that down for us. What is, what? So what does that mean? Yeah. So accessibility uh, basically speaks to making products inclusive for all users, including those who are aging and disabled. Okay. And and uh, basically, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the history of how we got started with that effort at LinkedIn and some of the tactics and strategies that we've employed that have uh, given us some success in that area. Okay, so for the people that aren't going to be at the, at the uh, conference, at the conference or not, they're watching, watching at home. Can you share some of that? You know, how did you guys get into it and why is it a priority at LinkedIn? Well, obviously, it's a priority for us because we're all about creating economic opportunity for professionals, and we want to include all professionals in that effort. And so, uh, for me, the, the mission of LinkedIn and doing accessibility really lines up pretty well. Uh, in terms of some of the things that we've done, we have actually started a volunteer task force, which is a little bit unique to LinkedIn, where we have a number of people from engineering, web development and design who get together on a weekly basis, and we actually do uh, an agile scrum type of process okay. where we remediate issues in our products. So we basically have a backlog, it's prioritized, everybody stands up and gives their status and then we move through our projects that way. And, and are you a team that kind of brings that point of view to other teams working on other other products so that they make sure they kind of integrate that thinking into it or is it really more of a specific version of the product that you and your team are working on? No, so we're actually working on all of LinkedIn's products. Okay. We prioritize certain areas that we think will give us the most bang for the buck so to speak. Uh, the task force actually does the remediation work, but then we also are in the business of helping teams build forward accessibly. And so we have office hours as well where teams can come to us either in the design phase to look into the design and interaction and kind of dig in and see if there's anything that might be problematic. Uh, or in the development phase where we can actually walk through code in progress with engineers and help them actually implement their product accessibly. And how has it been, how has this effort been received by both the engineering and the product teams uh, as well as the customers out there in the field? I think it's been received well across the board. I think because the task force actually partners with teams and we actually help them fix stuff that they're very open to working with us going forward. And then I think out in the uh, in the industry, I guess, uh, or with our customers. We've actually opened an email feedback channel with them and they actually send us suggestions of things that they think we should work on. And they're just thrilled that we actually write back to every person that right, writes sure. to us. And uh, we've even set up phone calls with a few people when we're not really clear what the issue is and we want to understand it more. Oh, that's exciting. So, so you're here at the show. Um, why is this effort, you know, here at, at this particular show important to LinkedIn? I think for LinkedIn in particular, my feeling is that 50% of our users are women, right? And so 
the more that the makers, the teams building our products actually reflect our user base, the more empathetic we're going to be to their needs and the better products we're actually going to build for them. Awesome. Well, Sarah, thanks for stopping by. I know you're busy. You're still uh, prepping those last few slides, hopefully, yes, for, your, for your presentation. <laughs> that's all right. That's how it always works out. So again, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing. We'll be right back.